I hear that. All right. How can one recognize a psychopath? Um, I, you know, I, I always encourage people to avoid coming to hasty conclusions and quick diagnoses. I, personally, I don't like it when people try to diagnose every, you know, everybody around them based on you know some some signs. The best way to spot a psychopath is over time. First of all, you have to be observant. And um, in addition to, you know, listening to your radio show, the, the previous one that you did, I encourage all your listeners to, you know, read a book by Robert Hare or uh, Hervey Checkley, People of the Lie, or do your own research on it because it's not going to be enough information from what we're going to discuss today. And get up on that subject. Then once you, um, the best way to spot them is over time because, they use up a lot of energy to put on this performance for you, right? They're pretending to be human. Really, they want to say, rah, 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 I'm going to kill you. Ah, I hate you. You know, so that's what's they're, going they're, on. They're what we call, I, I think it was Joe that came up with this term, Joe Atwill, lifetime actors. Yeah, exactly. That's Joe. I was listening to that and that was an apt description. They're actors, but it takes a lot of energy you know like you and i if you're going to do a radio show or if you're going to go you know present a toast at the wedding you can get up for it and you put on your you know your best voice and try to be funny you know that's okay but you you can see how tiring that gets you know can you imagine doing that 24 7 so what happens is they hervey checkley wrote them uh uh, the the book the mask of sanity and that's what it is they have this mask on them And it takes a lot of effort to keep that mask up. And every now and then it drops. And they'll do something or say something that is so immoral or so out of sync with what a normal feeling person would do that most people will go, what the hell was that? What what did he just say? You know. And it's when you get those types of clues over time when you find, uh, you know, he loves animals, but suddenly the kitten runs in front of him and he gives it a kick and knocks it against the wall. Oops, sorry. Uh, Really? Sorry? You just kick that kitten and you claim you love animals? You know, it's those kind of contradictions. And they'll right away bring up the mask. Oh, no, I was an accident. I love animals. And then the next day you see him pulling the dog by the dog leash and thing. You know, it's. Over time, you see contradictions between their character and their moral behavior.